The video which you're about to see was recorded with a 180 VR camera and filmed in 3D. For the best viewing experience, please use a VR headset or the YouTube mobile app on your phone. They say there's a place called the Blue Hole, where the water is as blue as the sky and as cold as a tomb. Some say it's an immeasurably deep cavity in the earth created by an ancient meteor impact which has been filled by underwater springs. Anybody who has swam in the middle of it has been claimed by its fathomless depths, drowning in the unexplained whirlpool currents, never to be found again. Hey, we're here in the heart of the Pine Barrens in South New Jersey, and um, we're shooting on a Google VR 180 camera. So enjoy the view, feel free to look around, and we're just gonna talk about this. We are near the Blue Hole, and this is uh, the first time I've been here in about 15 years because I shot my film, The Jersey Odysseys, it's gonna be the pilot episode, and that one was based on The Legend of the Blue Hole. So when I filmed it, I was in uh, November 2003, which was when we were on the scene here. And um, wow, this is the first time. It, after 15 years, I've returned. I never thought I'd have an excuse to come back, but here I am. And it creeps me out because, uh, I mean, you know, I don't have many like nightmares anymore. I used to have a lot of recurring dreams as a kid, you know, and anybody, you know, if, if you had a recurring dream, you know what, you know what it's like. But um, I don't really remember many of my dreams anymore as an adult, but the blue hole for some reason, after I made the movie, it still sticks with me a little bit. Every once in a while, I do have a dream about the blue hole. So I think the blue hole is the last, the most current of my uh, recurring dreams, uh, recurring uh, nightmares at least, because it's, uh, um, it, it's basically, I think when I, when, what got me interested to make the film here was that uh, a friend of mine, um, she was visiting from out of town and she just said, hey, I'm in, New Jersey and I'm kind of near you but I'm like I'm gonna visit this place I read about in weird New Jersey magazines and it's called the Blue Hole and she explained it to me I was like oh that sounds pretty cool let me know how it is and then I didn't hear from her for a while and I kept uh, like calling her I was like what's what's going on are you all right and uh, she was okay luckily her, her phone died when she was out here and when I filmed here the same thing happened with me because for some reason batteries um, just get drained here. So every time we shot, especially the camera, we were shooting on a, a Panasonic DVX100 and uh, the batteries kept dying. And I remember at some points I had to actually leave and uh, go charge it somewhere and come back. Um, so that, that kind of creeped me out. And um, I think what, what it comes down to, what really creeps me out is uh, uh, like some people have a fear of heights and I have a fear of depths because if I didn't explain adequately enough, um, a lot of people have supposedly died here in the Blue Hole. Like people would go in to swim and then they would just never come out. And people have, uh, you know, linked it to the Jersey Devil um, because, uh, you know, this is where the urban legend, the New Jersey Devil uh, is, like all around the Pine Barren. So people have said that like the Blue Hole is bottomless um, and that uh, if you, get sucked all the way down. It's basically like the devil will reach up and grab you and pull you down into hell. And um, that goes back to a story a long time ago when I was a kid. Um, me and a lot of my neighborhood friends, we decided to dig a hole. We decided to dig the hole as deep as we could to try and get to hell just to see if hell was real. That's what we were doing. And uh, well, we got pretty, we got deep enough where you can stand in it. And then we got kind of scared because one of our friends came by and was like, oh, you know, like, the devil is going to grab you, you know, his arm's going to come up and like he's telling us all these scary stories and we're like, oh shit. So then we covered up the hole, and we, you know. And so I've always kind of had a fear of like um, depths of just like the idea that there could be like just the idea like if hell exists, there could be a portal to it. Like there's actually an entrance to hell that is right near us right now. I don't know. I just thought it was a good, good subject for a horror movie. So that's why I did it. But uh, on that note, I guess let's get a little bit closer. Let's uh, trek on over to the Blue Hole. This, uh, this book I'm holding here, this is the prop book that I used in the movie. Um, so I basically printed this out and I probably just pasted a bunch of text from like uh, some, some probably from Weird New Jersey or some stuff that I typed myself. Uh, there's like a little map of New Jersey. Like we're somewhere in, you know, here, I guess, uh, in the vague vicinity. I could show you, uh, there was this map I did um, because this map is fairly accurate. Um, but hey, let's, let's head on over because we're, we're actually like right about, we're on the other side of the river. So we need to cross a river to get to the Blue Hole. And back when I did this, like 15 years ago or whatever it's been, um, there was no, 
like GPS or Google Maps or anything. There was like the blue hole was kind of just like rumor. You had to just sort of like ask around and try to find it. And um, it took a long time to actually figure out where the, the real place is because there's other things, there's other areas that they call a blue hole. There's like quarries and stuff like that. Um, so, but the reason I knew where it was, because there's supposed to be an old bridge that crosses the river. There is a book by uh, Henry Charlton Beck uh, from 1963. It was called uh, More Forgotten Towns of Southern New Jersey, because first there was uh, Forgotten Towns and then he did a sequel book. Um, but in that book, he talks about finding the Blue Hole and there's supposed to be a bridge. And basically, uh, the legends clinging to the hole have been handed down for years. Some Boy Scouts came here a few years ago and cleaned it out. The bridge is new, well, it would have been new in 1963, as are those concrete pipes under the, under the bridge. They managed to give you the pool a free outlet for a time, but now, as you can see, the flow is sluggish and the blue hole as sinister as ever. So let's go check it out. Because when I was here the last time in 2003, the bridge was collapsed. It was just um, almost as if somebody did it on purpose because they, they mentioned concrete poles and I don't see any concrete poles. It almost looks like somebody took them away and uh, the bridge was all deteriorated and well I'm looking at it right now and in 15 years there's even less of it now. So check that out. Yeah come on check it out. <laughs> Yeah, so not much left of it anymore. Um, yeah, that's pretty crazy. I know I'm fat. You don't have to leave a comment. You're attractive. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is for our Blair Witch uh, cut of this. Okay. There you go. All right. Ooh. We're freaking Raiders of the Lost Ark over here. Yeah. It gets higher right here. We're still rolling, right? Yeah. All yep. Right. We're not cutting, Tony. If we die out here, you know. <laughs> Oh, it's really soft here. Shit. You all right? Yeah. You go first. It's your, it's okay. your baby. <laughs> it's your demonic baby. All right. Shit. Okay. You good? I'm good. There's this... There's a lot of wood. The part of the bridge was here, and it tripped me. That oh, really? Some of it drifted here? Also, for all wondering, I'm not just looking at my phone. This is how you actually watch. Yeah, I can't see anything. I need I need guidance. Yeah, so Tony can't actually see what he's recording. I'm actually doing it on this phone. All right, so we're on the other side of the river. The blue hole is that way. And uh, I'll just read a few more from the uh, the Beck book. Is that a, It says, uh, Dave Dixon remembered about the Blue Hole. He recalled that many of his boyhood friends were rescued and revived after they had dared the hoodoo and sought to swim across. I guess hoodoo is a word for, like, um, just, like, creepiness or, like, you know, the, or what's a word, like, mumbo-jumbo or, like, hocus-pocus kind of stuff. Um, I remember... John Brown, uh, maybe it was John Insk Inskip's Brown, which I think the, the river might be named after. Uh, I don't know, he was a big heavy set man. He laughed at their warnings one day and swam out to the middle. Just as he got there, he let out a shout. We thought he was fooling. At first he was a great one to, to cut up. I guess cut up means like make a joke, prank. Uh, then we saw that he was going down for the last time. They managed to fish him out and he came to after they rolled him all over the place and bounced him up and down. He said the devil reached up and got him from deep in the pool. Thus armed with a few facts, we started off for Inskip or Inskip's and the Devil's Puddle. We found it off a side road that cuts to the right through a second growth of oaks on a sandy trail that goes in from Winslow toward Berryland. And keep in mind, like back when I found this the first time, this was the only thing to really go by. It was like this in weird New Jersey. Um, so we picked the wrong path first, as did I, and found another that allows the passage of a single car, which would have been that bridge, to rise above the great Egg Harbor River. So I guess this might be the Egg Harbor River. There's movement in the blue hole, however, as if from innumerable springs welling up through the white sand. Down said that the white sand and cedar water on the surface always provide a bluish color. Stones tossed from the bank seem to change several colors as they drift slowly down out of sight. The pool itself may have been larger years ago when tall pines surrounded it. 
The trees were cut long ago and there's nothing after years of forest fires to recall the old mill. Earlier he talks about the old mill. There's portions of the pool, as Mr. Downs demonstrated, that are icy cold even in summer, water not to be lingered in on any day. Other spots are contrastingly warm. I'll save the last part for when we're there. So you want to head over? Let's go check it out. All right, well, we should be there any second. Watch out for some thorns here. Wow. There's a turtle in it. That's funny, there was a turtle in it last, the, well, the first time I visited it when I was scouting it. As you can see, it's very bluish in the middle. I'm a little more like a green, but I would say it's pretty much a blue-green. What would you say? Yeah. Yeah. Not as blue as I thought, but it's, you know, yeah. this time of year. The first time I ever saw it, it was like, it was more green, and it, it kind of didn't really look very um, impressive. Like, the first time I came here, I was disappointed. I was like, this is it. You know, I was like, there's really nothing... Um, exciting and it doesn't look like it's bottomless because I, I feel like I could see the bottom almost all the way across I mean it does seem to like divot in the middle a little but uh in the book he says that uh uh many uh some years ago a party of scientists visited the blue hole with the purpose of coming back with an explanation for it they obtained a huge weight and a long line of cable the weight was dropped in the middle of the pool and it kept going down until the cable was paid out more cable was obtained and the same thing happened again. There was no explanation as far as we have been able to discover. So the mystery of the blue hole is still a mystery. Possibly the pools fed by springs as was the case at Payne Island near Clarksburg. Perhaps the cavity was caused by some falling meteor as some folk in the vicinity maintain to this day. Perhaps half the legends are untrue, merely reinforced by half a century of repetition and trimmings. Nevertheless, we found Inskip and located the bottomless pit of Beelzebub. The last time I was here, this wasn't all collapsed like this. Like you could walk over. Um, like I don't think any of this was uncovered. So this is kind of interesting that all this just fell away after all that time. Should I go in there? Do you want to go? No, <laughs> I wouldn't suggest it at all. Oh, we could try it. Yeah, I wish there was like a like a beach or something you could get down. Well, there's a liquor bottle, so I'm assuming people come here a lot and they don't die. Yeah. I mean, but they, they say they do die, so. <laughs> Is it cold? Is it, like, colder than the, the river? It's way warmer. It's way warmer? Yeah. I've never seen anybody go in here. So. Wait, so you can stand? Yeah, it's no problem. All right, then I'll Are you sure? There. Let me get yeah. in there. Just to make it perfectly clear... Our camera operator is in the blue hole right now. Do not recommend this. Do, um, if you ever come in here, do it at your own risk. Um, I do not recommend it whatsoever. Um, and we are not going anywhere near the middle. We're staying near the side. How's the bottom feel? Is it soft? Yeah, very soft. And, That's uh, why. It's, it's, actually, it is a lot cooler. Oh, really? It's, it's like uh, quicksand. Oh, maybe it was warm for me and cool for him. Oh. Maybe because I'm going there. I'm, I'm standing on this board like a surfboard. <laughs> what do you make of that board? Like, why is there a board there? Uh, just, I have no idea. Somebody just threw it in, I guess? Yeah. It's a board. James. Like, it doesn't look like it used brick? to be anything? Like, maybe there used to be, like, a deck or something? I A dock, I not anything. a deck, a dock. Yeah, that's weird. I don't see anything that it could have been attached to. Hmm. Got the Does it look like it gets deeper in the middle? Yeah. And it gets bluer in the middle. Really? Yeah, actually, over here, underneath the direct sun, it looks a lot bluer. And I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but it's a lot bluer and greener. Don't go past your waist. Yeah. Can you see on camera what's underneath the Can water? You see, yeah. Turn around and look at us. <laughs> wow. 
I don't know if you want to say anything. I don't, I'm speechless. After, after, I think after. I said everything. Uh, <laughs> um, just... I mean, for myself watching uh, your, your video yesterday and the commentary, mm -hmm. I would definitely not recommend this going in there. I didn't there could watch be the video, full dude. Disclosures. There could be dead bodies in there. <laughs> there Wait, be. you haven't watched the video? I I forgot to watch it, so I wasn't warned. Oh, that's a... <laughs> <laughs> well, here, Tony, bring that camera back and just do. You, you want to take a little a little dip out there? Yeah, I think I will. All right. Wait, what? <laughs> Not all the way. <laughs> what my headphones are falling. Oh my gosh! All right, get close, Tony. The devil's arm just reaches up and oh, grabs you. A dragonfly just flew past mm. the camera. Okay. Oh, surface underneath can you actually like see the bottom even in the deep part or would you yeah i can see it so it, so the whole thing about the crane going all the way down I would, no would you say just a myth probably i'm more scared of like what parasite is in here <laughs> yeah, like leeches or something and some fucking amoeba He's in now. I tried to... Okay, there's a log here. <laughs> okay. I'm stepping on a log. All right, <laughs> why don't you come back now? Okay. Yeah, I can see the bottom. I don't know what it would be like over there. Uh-huh. But it's definitely blue. It's a big blue hole. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm coming back because it's too cold. Okay. <laughs> ah. It is weird. It does dip, like, here I'm level. If I take a step over, I'm, like, falling down. It was a bottle of Captain Morgan's rum over there. Yeah, so somebody was uh, <laughs> drinking here. Uh, haven't found any bones or anything? <laughs> it's hard to tell what's stick and bone. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Here's someone snapping. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. I'd be watching out for snapper turtles. Yeah. Uh, well, oh, well, we could see a turtle. About, I'm getting I don't know if it was I didn't even think about that. <laughs> I don't okay. know if it was a snapper turtle, but it was a turtle. <laughs> well, there you go. Um... Myth or real? I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah. Being that um, you brave the blue hole, nothing happens. I'd say you know proceed with caution, but it doesn't look like anything supernatural is here, mm. or even like you know natural uh, explanation of of drowning. I mean, it was in the news. It was reported that, uh, I mean, I didn't hear a lot of details, but I have heard, like, from some news sources that people have drowned. It is cool to look at, though.